Water level woes. Fishermen who normally hit the Muskegon River this time of year say the levels are alarmingly low. Some are pointing the finger at Consumers Energy, saying that the company is holding water above the Croton Dam. Anglers say the lower levels mean high water temperatures and fewer fish. New at 6, 24-hour news 8's Marvis Herring talked to fishermen and took their concerns to the leaders at Consumers Energy. Fishermen aren't the only ones noticing the lower river levels. Some canoers who are out here today tell us they got stuck in spots. And one man from this area remembers his childhood jumping from this bridge into the river. That's not possible today, but Consumers Energy says they're not to blame. We hit hard when we hit that gravel. Steve Howe abruptly found out how low the Muskegon River was near the Bridgeton boat launch this week when his jet boat got stuck in the shallow water. Fishing was good, but on the way out, we got on a gravel bar that normally I blow through no problem, and we got, we got hung up. These photos from people living along the river clearly illustrate the low levels. But it doesn't happen like this every summer. Workers at the Muskegon River Fly Shop are not just noticing the water height. The biggest the biggest problem is the warm water is not good for trout. Charlie Atkinson points out the cubic feet per second or volume of water passing through that area dropped from about 1,500 CFS to 800 in one week. I took that issue to Consumers Energy. So even though it dropped drastically from the fifth to now, that was all Mother Nature. It's Mother Nature, yeah. I'm not aware of any, any maintenance issues that would have caused that at all. The senior public information director tells me they're well aware of residents' concerns of water levels along the Muskegon River. But as far as the Croton Dam is concerned, he says their federal contract has their hands tied. We have to only pass the water that comes to the dam. We can't increase it or decrease it. He says over the past 84 years, this is lower than normal, but wants people to know they are not withholding water. Consumers is brainstorming ways to get colder water downriver. We are looking to see whether we can use that bubbler system even while we spill so we can be spilling cooler water. It's a tough act for consumers. Uh, it's a tough act for the people here. This town depends on the Muskegon River fishery. Without it, we would be gone. Consumers Energy tells me they're just working with what Mother Nature gives them, and right now she's not giving them much to work with. In Nuego, Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8.